guys, so today it is Thursday, so you know what that means. It is a Trident and Toss It Thursday, and today's Trident or Toss It is going to feature the Lash Out Butterfly Mascara. And who is this by? L'Oreal. I had to think about that, um, and the fact that L'Oreal is on the back of it. Um, this is in the black color, but I'm going to show y'all a demo of how to apply this the correct way and how to get the best results out of this mascara because a lot of people say the wand's wonky it's a little wonky but it's doable and you can definitely work with it and have amazing results with this mascara all right so first off this mascara i got it in a uh, beauty box which was the target box i think yeah i got this in the target box and i haven't opened it since then but i recently opened it like in the last two weeks and I've been using it. So it is the black mascara. Um, I have worn this, obviously. It definitely is a little, the wand's a little wonky. I will say that much. The wand's wonky. Um, I will agree with that one. So I'm going to bring y'all in a little closer and I will show y'all what's going on. Excuse my face. It's a bit tragically depressing and such. So, mm. All right, so y'all are a little closer. Let's go a little more closer. All right, so you see my face. Let's see, let me pull it out here. This is the mascara. All right, so let me lay that down there. This is what the wand looks like. It has a curved applicator on the end. It does have a very strong odor. And um, excuse my face here, it's, it's quite tragic. But it does have a very strong odor and the wand is curved. Basically what you're supposed to do with this wand is hug your lash line and get it to flare out on the end and I will show y'all how I do it and I did not bring a mirror with me. Mm, lovely. Let's see if I can do this without a mirror and just sort of seeing in the camera here. Mm. Alright, so I'm going to start with my right eye. This is the wand. I'm sorry again for this close up. Just for demonstrating purposes, okay? Alright, so I have the mascara. Let's see. Just sort of hug your lash line and go out with it and that's basically what you do and um, I don't use a lot of product I really don't but you just sort of do like that very easy nothing fancy and I mean you can do the lower lash line that's not a big deal I do recommend using the other side of it for your lower lash line if you like your lower lash line mascarified if you do use too much of this, it will get a little spidery. I will say that much. Just go back through if you want. Add more product. But yeah, that's basically it. There's what it looks like. And I'll zoom y'all out to show y'all a before and after. This is without the mascara, and this is with the mascara. Y'all see a difference? Maybe not so much. Let's zoom me out some more. Bring y'all back out to where y'all should be. Alright, so here we are. This eye has mascara. The other eye does not. I definitely do like this mascara. It gets a little clumpy for my taste, but I definitely like it. It's an affordable alternative to the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This mascara is not as uh, spidery as the Their Real by Benefit. I will say that much. I actually prefer this one to the Benefit Their Real Mascara for the lengthening part of this and I have like a spoolie because I like going back through after I've applied mascara to try and separate my lashes um, without going through with the uh, mascara wand and like clumps it all back up. It just sort of gives my eyelashes a little more of a natural look and you kind of can separate the lashes if you need to and such like that. But yeah, um, again this is with, with the mascara and this is without it. I guess I'll go back and do the other eye so you can see, you know, maybe not so much. I don't know. I'm just doing this for demonstrating purposes, I guess. I'll do a second coat on this one. How about that one? I'll do a second coat. Bring y'all back in. All right, so let's do a second coat and get it real spidery. Okay, this is what a lot of girls do with their mascaras. They get the spider lashes. I mean super, like 3D fiber by Unique, 
uh, spider lashes going on. I mean, look at those spidernesses going on. <laughs> let's get the lower lash line. Now let's get this going really good here. Yeah, there we go. Give y'all a good look of what you can get with the this mascara if you use more than one coat and go for spider lashes. This is a spider lash with this mascara. So let me zoom y'all back out and so you can see the difference. This is the difference here. This is two coats of this mascara. And for a drugstore mascara, I definitely approve of this. Um, it does not irritate my eyes whatsoever. It does not want to come off until you want to remove it. So it definitely has lasting power. If you go through with, you know, like one coat, it's like perfect. But once you start adding more coats, it can tend to get a little spidery like y'all see here. But I definitely do recommend this Lash Out Butterfly Mascara by L'Oreal. I definitely say try it if you haven't tried it yet. The odor is kind of strong, but you definitely don't smell it once you apply it. It doesn't irritate my eyes, and y'all know my eyes are very sensitive with stuff around my eyeball area. So if it definitely doesn't irritate me, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't irritate you know, someone else that, that can handle even the benefit their real mascara. So if you're looking for a under $10 mascara drugstore alternative to the $20, $30 benefit their real mascara, but want this dramatization right here on my face, I definitely say try this item. It's definitely worth the testing tryout. So yeah, that is it for the Lash Out Mascara. Uh, lash out butterfly mascara and I definitely do say that try to try this product I mean th these results can't lie right they, they, they can't lie all right guys so that is it for today's try or toss it Thursday and I want to thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all next time till next week till next week bye guys